Hi there. So here we are welding the swing pivot arms on, I guess, to the arms to the bracket. I've got a bit of rod through there to line up the holes. And sitting up on the frame. I, um, I made the bracket sit below the pulley this time. The motor, as you can see, right there, there, because I'm going to mount the motor directly above the pulley. This will allow the blade to swing both ways, so to speak. And looking from the front or the back this time, no obstructions around the boss area. Pretty happy with that, that's looking much better. And uh, being able to swing the saw through 180 degrees will allow me to cut from both sides of a log starting from either end. Very versatile. Right then, so next I leveled the blade against the bed at right angles. I got a laser level and made sure it was square right down the middle of the bed perfectly parallel with the bed and I lined up the end of the blade with the laser line that is perfectly square 90 degrees to the bed after lining up the blade so I was tracking down the middle of the frame I welded some cross pieces in to mount a engine mount on I made a engine mount that incorporates a belt tensioner as you can see it pivots on this end and on the other end is an adjusting bolt I put that uh, it was a bit bodgy that first one so I, uh, I fixed that up there's a good strong one in there now Alrighty, brand new 15 horsepower electric start engine I, uh, with the belts on, that's the new strong version adjusting bolt and belts attached that is pretty rigid, that engine mount there's no movement in there at all.